It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs and comes short again and again, because there is not effort without error and shortcomings. But who does actually strive to do the deed? Who knows the great enthusiasm, the great devotion, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end to find out a high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least he fails while bearing greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory. In those four years, the, the year previous to those four years at O'Brien, uh, we didn't win a game, and so and six of those were called uh, by the Mercy Group. Let's go, Jack! Go! go the thing that was deceiving about them was they were very small physically. Uh, our largest kid was 165 pounds. The center, starting center, weighed 124, and so that was it was deceiving to our advantage, I think. But what people didn't know, they were super quick. They had 31 players, we had 15. And as as we met to play them, it didn't look too prosperous. We Come called on, it in the third quarter. Come on, Come on. Go, go. 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 There was three little seniors. They take a vote to call the game. Now, so they're not looking at it like we are or any of these other people. And their confidence is great. Uh, 